Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Regan, if you've never been here before, which is very likely, and I also haven't filmed a video in a month, and I don't wanna talk about it. We're just gonna jump into it, and um, yeah, cause some stuff happened. Um, yeah. Okay, so I have my tea. I'm ready to film for the first time in, um, let me drink my watch, a month, because I'm a disaster of a person, and it feels like I, I'm constantly back on my bullshit and then I get off my bullshit and I'm just on different bullshit which which is just the only explanation I can truly give but I was at Walmart as I literally always am um in my defense it's five minutes away from my house like I could I could walk there well it might take it could I could walk to Walmart really um but I was at Walmart walking through the home section and I was thinking why have I not been feeling very, like, willing to film? I don't want to film a chit chat, get ready with me, because no one cares about my life. Yeah, like, like, people really don't care. And then I was thinking, well, actually, no, that's not how I have. I went to the makeup section to look at makeup, to buy makeup, honestly, because I felt sad. And I found this powder. All right, so my L'Oreal loose powder video has 1.2K views. <laughs> I, 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 that's more views on the one video, I think, than the, my channel put together, like, all my videos other, like, put together, so, <laughs> that's, that's crazy to me, so I thought, why not film another loose powder review, but the Wet n Wild one, it was only, like, five dollars, and it's huge, um, like, look at their highlighter, look at their loose powder, like, girl, all right, we're gonna get into this, but basically, I'm doing a loose powder review because it was a hit last time I did it. <laughs> one more thing. On my L'Oreal loose powder one, um, this person commented and they were like, this is a this nice powder, yada, 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 but like I couldn't really tell how it worked because of all the other makeup you caked on afterwards. This is like my first hate comment, honestly, and it, it was really hateful because it's a, it's a setting powder, okay? And... <laughs> I don't know what y'all want me to do. Just put setting powder on my face. Like, I actually envisioned myself being, like, like snottily replying and be like, oh, sorry, next time I do a loose powder review, I'll just wear loose powder on my face and nothing else, and we'll uh, see how it wears, see how pretty I look. Like, I just had a picture of me just, like, stamping loose powder on my face and literally nothing else. No primer, no nothing. Like, just loose powder to, like, appease this person so that they felt better <laughs> about my reviews because apparently, like putting um like more makeup on after setting powder is wrong and it makes you look cakey <laughs> and I just I'm so petty because like why is that like my thought anyway let's let's jump into it okay so this is the wet and wild powder it's the wet and wild photo focus I got translucent it just it literally says photo focus because that's like their their fancy little HD line with a setting powder 520B, not tested on animals, vegan and cruelty free. All right, so this is huge. How many, how much is in here? 20 grams of powder. And like, hold please, cause this is just like, there's 20 grams in here too, but it just looks so much different. Seven, no, seven, All right, okay, so apparently there's not more in here like I assumed, but I'm just gonna open it. And like for Wet n Wild, oh, oh, oh. All right, so this is why there's, it looks so big, but there's 20 grams because like literally this whole part of it, there's, there's nothing. Like it's just kind of a waste of space in my opinion. But what I was gonna say was for Wet n Wild, this packaging is actually pretty nice. Like, the quality of the actual plastic seems kinda nice. Oh no. So, I'm gonna try to get the plastic thing off here. It does not look like there's like a little tab. So, um, I'll be back. Me out here with my tweezers. So Wet n Wild is down a point. <sighs> I mean, at least it's sealed. Let's give them that. They sealed it off. All right. It doesn't look entirely translucent, but I am going to now, 
I think this is like six dollars. I don't know. I feel like I'm all over the place, but I'm gonna like put on my makeup, yada yada yada, and then when it's time to set, we will use this. Or I'm gonna go in with my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Primer, the matte one, because it's not a Wet n Wild powder review if we don't use the only primer that I know exists now. I hate doing my makeup with my hair down. I'm also really sorry if I'm like, this video turns out to be half an hour long because I can't stop talking. But I don't like wearing my hair down when I'm doing my makeup because I have to be more careful and it's just like not my vibe. Like I do my makeup with my hair still wet half the time, but I don't think it's a cute look. So I'm not gonna do it like on the internet for everyone to see. So that's just my, my two cents about my life. Also, if my skin's looking a little fresh, uh, I exfoliated for like, the first time in a couple months yesterday and last night so and then i'm just gonna hop in with my l'oreal magic perfecting base to fill in my pores for foundation i'm gonna mix my fenty beauty uh pro filter in 170 pro filter soft matte whatever it's called and then my wet and wild photo focus stick foundation in 849a shell ivory almost out of this i actually really like it like just mixing it with other stuff this is the lightest shade and um I'm a cool tone. I have decided that my skin's cool, but I'm a dark color. Like I'm not like pasty white. Oh my God, my neck. I'm not like pasty white half the time. I tan really well. I'm like a swarthy white person, if like that's appropriate to say. So then I don't, I don't know how to get a dark foundation that's pink. You know, pink undertone. Honestly, this is just probably gonna be a disaster and I should have just like filmed a chit chat, get ready with me for the first time. In like a month but if y'all know me I just really uh like to jump into things um in like a fashion I shouldn't I'm a very cautious person and then every once in a while I just go for it and um relationships like decisions I will just randomly make like I don't like to make decisions and then out of nowhere I will just make like a dumb decision with like zero planning and I guess that's kind of like what I'm doing right now but it's really it's it's not as big of a deal as um other things in my life have been recently because I am a dumbass bitch <laughs> and um you can quote me on that and I can't get mad because it's true it is true So for concealer, I'm going to just use my L'Oreal Full Wear Infallible Yada 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 Concealer in Porcelain and Ivory because they are actually the best concealer, like the best drugstore concealer I have truly ever used. I've also used the Urban Decay, um, the Naked Skin one, and the Kat Von D one, and I think this is straight up, like, still my favorite. Also, I um, did a review on these and um, did not get the same reaction that my L'Oreal Loose Powder video got. But, um, you know, it's cool. Go watch it if you, like, are feeling like, feeling, feeling like it, really. <laughs> Honestly, that L'Oreal Loose Powder video, I just truly don't know what happened there. <laughs> to the, I, I will never forget it, and I will never forget this day. Uh, exfoliated and my skin just looks so good right now <laughs> next up and the last and final step before we hit it with the loose powder I'm gonna contour with my wet and wild foundation stick in 867a toffee pecan oh right I forgot these are in French and English aren't they the names because this is shell ivory and then yep that's French that I I love um I stopped taking French in eighth grade and I cheated, so. I'm just gonna cream contour under my chin, my cheeks, forehead. Honestly, I'm afraid to like, ever stop cream contouring because it just, it just really makes you look so good. So good. 
Hit the nose, kids. Blend it out with a beauty blender or a brush if you're Satan. I'm sorry if the lighting is like going down. It's like rainy outside and these two little lights, they're like, you have to charge them that I use. Um, They're slowly dying in front of me, but it's like the moment we've all been waiting for. So I just feel like I can't stop. So I'm really sorry if like, there's a hair. I'm really sorry if um the quality goes down real quick, but I just don't know what else to do. <laughs> I just don't. Okay. So like I said, um, just a regular tons of some powder, setting powder, wet and wild. I think it's like $6. I feel like I just say everything is $6. I think it was like $5.97. I, I'm pretty sure it was like $5.97. And we're just going to use this bad boy. Oh, actually, I'm going to shake it. Okay, like I was like talking some crap about how deep it is, but I kind of actually like, like if you can see, I kind of actually like the fact that like there's some space so it's not all just like poofing up. I, I'm, I'm, I'm liking it. So I'm just gonna blend out my eye creases. And get some powder and set. It's definitely mattifying, obviously. It's a loose powder. Some of it's sort of flying up, but like my whole room is covered in um, a thin layer of loose powder. So it's, it's not like a huge deal breaker. <laughs> I think it definitely has like the teeniest bit of color to it. Like it's obviously not completely white. I can tell by just like looking in it, but it's like brightening. Like it's, it's not a bad thing, at least on my skin tone, it's not bad. I'm just gonna set the entire face, even like where I cream contoured, just for the sake of like science. And I use a lot of powder, I just like, essentially bake my entire face with my beauty blender but I'm oily so it works for me if you don't like loose powder like if you don't like powder don't don't, don't do this I'm just gonna go in and pat like bake a little bit in some certain places that I get oily I am like covered in powder now that's why you don't wear clothes that you plan on wearing for the rest of the day. <laughs> okay, so I'm baking right now, but so far I have no complaints. Honestly, it looks nice. I am I look obviously powdery right now, but like really didn't expect much different from myself, so. So I'm gonna go in and do as I usually would and go over with a foundation powder. Um, Personally, for me, I do this to ensure that there's no flashback. If it's a like a loose sweating powder and you're taking photos, I do this to ensure that because you never know when you're taking a photo. I'm Snapchatting all the time. I also like it to add more coverage because I am oily. So if you're um, wanting to know what's up with that, if there's going to be flashback, I, I don't know what to tell you because... Um, I like to prevent it as much as possible, so I'm just going to set with a darker powder and a lighter powder to add some dimension. Um, so far, it looks like this is going over top super nicely. I feel like it, um, the Wet n Wild one covers up my pores a bit better than the Maybelline one that I normally would use because it is my favorite, but I'm kind of... <laughs> kind of living for this one I'm not gonna lie I do look a little powdery but like setting spray bros oh no I look I look snatched holy oh I look good like I don't have a pore on my face right now 
except her and my nose but like that always happens oh my oh my damn <laughs> i'm just gonna do the rest of my face makeup to like see how putting other stuff over top of it goes even though like i think the lighting is getting really bad and if it's really bad like i won't put it in but if it if it's not bad then like we're just gonna we're just gonna like go with the flow because everything i do is half a mess but it turns out in the end so i'm gonna go in with my physician's formula butter bronzer there's this weird paddle brush in it this thingy i bought this at the same time about the loose powder but i couldn't help myself and i lose it but this thing is so weird it's like this weird little foamy sponge thing and i'm not sure how you're supposed to put bronzer on with it so but i'm gonna use my physician's formula butter bronzer this um loud makeup brush that's broken that i love for bronzer so yeah i'm just gonna get into it i actually like i look my skin looks so good. It needs some setting spray, but I think after setting spray, girl. Everything is dirty and I'm sorry. It's who I am as a person. I am going to pop into my Anastasia Light to Medium Contour Kit. I'm going to use this shade. These all have the names on them, do they? Yeah, they do. Java Vanilla Fawn Havana Banana Sand. Not helpful though. I'm going to use this, this one to contour i've been really liking it actually especially now that it's getting warmer and i'm tan even though i haven't really spent much time outside but i'm still kind of tan from south america so like people think that i've been like being sporty and going outside but the truth is that i just sat on a beach for like the entire month of february and it hasn't faded yet I'm gonna okay so I'm gonna see this is why we're still here even though it's getting dark because I'm gonna like take the powder and um cut out my contour with it just to see if that works even though we are just getting darker up in here and I'm so sorry so we're just gonna pull a Jaclyn Hill I had the Morphe sponge but um I haven't used her in about a month either so gonna go to Goodwill all right I'm just gonna go in with like more powder to just ruin the fact that I used a setting powder and then put makeup on top of it I just I just can't believe I would do that in a review, you know? Like, I just can't believe I put other makeup on over top of a setting powder, honestly. Like, sometimes I just don't think things through, honestly. My skin is looking actually so nice. I, I'm shook. And because, you know, we're in a wet and wild moment here trying out their setting powder. I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in Blossom Glow. This highlighter is my all-time favorite in the entire world. Oh, I just put way too much on my cheek. I got a, got a little, I got a little excited there. Oh, I'm also using a Morphe M510. When I first got this brush for highlighting, I was like, yeah, whatever. It's not whatever, it slaps so hard. Oh, and my light one light just died, so I'm probably like sitting here in the dark. But hopefully you you can still see my highlighter. For blush, I'm just gonna quickly go into Milani Luminoso um, because it's the first thing that I grabbed, honestly. Um, and it goes really nice with this highlighter. I like to blend my blush into my highlighter a little bit, especially when it's like that one because it's super pinky, but it just blends it in and like makes you look less like you put highlighter on and more like you're just a glowing goddess. So, so I'm just going to take this big brush and fluff this away. I'm going to go charge my little lights, do my eyebrows and my eyes and my lips. 
and I'm gonna be back to get my final thoughts. But so far, I'm, I'm a little shook actually. Okay, kids, so I did the rest of my makeup and the setting spray just like really did it. I used the Morphe one. It smells so good, it smells like papaya and I just didn't know I liked the smell of papaya until I started using setting spray. So. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just gonna like formulate a thought. Formulate a thought. Here's my, this is my opinion. I actually like this setting powder better than the L'Oreal one. And I don't know, like off of my first impression of this, using it right now, cause I mean, I exfoliated last night, so maybe my skin is just looking really good cause it's, it's like healthy. Because I also toned, like, I, I've been starting to get into skincare a lot more. Because it really just makes your makeup look better, really. It, like, I, I'm concerned about skincare. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to start. And then I don't know if my skin looks really good right now because I've been do working on my skincare. Or because this powder really blurred my pores the way I'm thinking that it blurred my pores. Because exfoliating one time is not going to, like, make my oily, oily ass pores smaller. It's just not. They didn't look smaller when I woke up this morning. So, yeah, I I really like this. I like the way that it blended over stuff. Um, the shade is nice for me. Um, if you're obviously, if like you're a person, like a personal color, like you're really deep skin tone, you're not going to want to get the translucent one unless you're baking on your eyes and that's it. You're obviously going to want to get a darker color, but that's just pretty obvious. I think, like, uh, I want to give this powder a 10 out of 10, and I, I really wasn't expecting it. I was like, oh, like, oh, maybe I'll like it. Like, when I did the L'Oreal Infallible one, I've used all that powder, and I did not repurchase it. Like, it's good, but my Maybelline, my Maybelline, my Maybelline was winning, and now I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. I really, really like this powder, and I've honestly been sitting here being like, how do I explain the fact that, like, Wet n Wild snapped this, this powder slaps like it's amazing and um that's really all i have to say like i re i really am in love liking it and i i i'm i'm shocked like i'm truly shocked how much i like it and i've re like i've been talking about this like ever and i'm really excited about how much i like it and you can probably tell and i'm talking really fast and i haven't even had caffeine today so that says a lot about like my excitement of this powder but like you know i look I look snatched. I really do. Like, I I think I look really good. And I haven't really been wearing a lot of makeup in, like, the last four days. So it's not like my skills have improved that much. I just... This powder is amazing. And I'm, I love the way that things are laying on top of it. And, um... Go buy this powder, <laughs> basically. And maybe it'll change, like, the way it wears will change. But, like... I don't know. So far... This is it. And I'm gonna stop rambling off about this wonderful setting powder that I've just received and may use for the rest of my life um, and go get a life. So thank you so much for watching. Thanks for um, coming back. Loving my powder reviews apparently. <laughs> Watch this video get like 20 views, not like a thousand, not 1200. <laughs> anyway, okay, love you guys, bye.